Hello everybody, welcome back to some more uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. And, well, a quick recap for where we are in the story. We're on 11. Uh, we currently have access to three zones, but uh, we are entering the fourth one here in Coronet Highlands. Um, but we probably aren't going to do that today, potentially. Yeah, we're doing side quests. We're doing the requests over here on this side, so we're going to try and do as many as we can. Um... The one that's over here like this, which says Catch a Rumpor and stuff, uh, I do try to get them as shinies before I turn them in, just because I like seeing shinies in the village. Except for maybe this big Breezel. Um, a shiny one is, that's going to be a painful. All right, I do have a shiny Breezel, but it's not big, so it doesn't count. I'm assuming this just means alpha. And so let's just go down the list. Actually, let's see. Let's start off with something better. Let's start off with this one. Sees Legend, because that's the one that I really was excited to do last time, and I want to see it. So, let's head on over there. Yep, okay. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, it keeps organizing stuff, really. Let's see. So, the mystery of the Sea's Legend catch the Pokemon that Professor Laventon saw. Okay, well, Ultra Ball is blue. I wish there was better looking Pokeballs, I'll be honest. I mean, the Great Balls are fine. Let me actually craft some Pokeballs, because, uh... Well, we do have... We, we have the ability to craft Ultra Balls now, so... That's a possibility we can do. Let's see. Ultra Balls are cool, but Great Balls are blue. So we'll just do that real quick. And then we can just craft the rest with, uh... We can craft the rest as Ultra Balls. Okay. We'll just keep the Ultra Balls there. Actually, no, I'm going to do this. Uh, favorite, like, if I'm... Like, uh, if I'm doing something specific, like, uh, farming shiny Pokemon from uh, Outbreaks and whatnot, I would unfavorite the Pokeballs because I'm not picking anything up, right? I'm uh, pretty sure it's over here. Since I'm not picking up anything, the Pokeballs will always be on the bottom. Because that's how it's organized, just naturally. And as long as I don't pick anything else up, it doesn't, you know, add to the satchel and stuff. Uh, let's see. First, let me just check where exactly I would go. So, you saw him over here. Okay. So, because of that, I like having the Pokeballs not be favorited when I'm going over outbreaks and stuff. Because... It's not needed. Let's see. Because it will be in the front anyways. Yeah. Catch the Pokemon. Um, let's do some adventuring, I guess. Is what I'm getting from this. That's an alpha. Oh my gosh, I love Sfeel. I mean, one of my favorite Pokemon movies. Um, it's Apparently it's not considered popular like by any means. But it's Pokemon Destiny Deoxys. I love that game. I mean, that game movie. Alright, I love that movie. I guess we we'll go here. I love that movie because um, I like the futuristic city. And there's that one scene or a set of scenes where they bring out all the Pokemon. I think they do this in every single movie, so it's not that crazy different. I think I just passed an alpha. But it's when they, they're in the park and then they yeah, hang out with all their Pokemon. I just think that's great. And also, uh, the food that they have. I mean, I think the food they have is always great. Oh, I got some stuff over here. Let me just do this. And also, it has, it's, a, it's futuristic. So that's always cool as well. So. Alright, let's keep going. I know what Pokemon this is. I seen what it is, which is fine. It's not. It's not a spoiler. I'm. It doesn't really make a big difference to me. But I don't know how to continue this quest. So, is that a Gyarados? It is. Okay. Huh. Let me get some berries. Okay. That's a tentacruel. That's not what I'm looking for. I don't think it's over here. 
there is a wisp, though. That's interesting. Uh, let's drop that down. There is a side quest here. We do have a side quest. I'm gonna go around just so I can complete the map. I, I like that we have infinite sprint with the Pokemon, but it makes no sense that you don't have infinite sprint in. I'm gonna always complain about that. That we can't sprint infinitely at um, the village, at the village. There is two crates here though. Um, Ultra Balls, Scatterbangs, Bean Cakes. Okay, more Ultra Balls. Okay. This is good stuff that we have here. Cool. Um, more Wisps. That's fine by me. And more Finions? No, that's Basculins. Okay. Uh, that is it. Huh. I. Where's this Pokemon gonna be? I don't know where to go exactly for like all this stuff. Okay, let's go over here. Oh wait, is this small island the island that's on the map? It is, isn't it? Oh jeez. It's nothing impressive, okay? It's nothing, really. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Is that Chansey always there? I don't know. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, you're part of the server core, right? Could you help me out? It seems this Pokemon's so hungry that it can barely even move. I tried giving it food, but it wouldn't take a bite. I don't know if it's being stubborn or what. It showed some interest in plump beans, but it still wouldn't eat them. Some cakes, maybe? Oh, of course. If we make the plump beans extra tasty, I'm sure this little deer will eat them. What kind of supply core member am I to completely forget about crafting? In any case, maybe bean cakes would do the trick. Maybe you could make me one? If you need the recipe, you can craft it at the craft works. Alright. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, let's see. Some more of these pop pods. And let's just get this real quick, since we're here. Alright, now let's see. This is a mana fee, by the way. I already know that's what it is. Let's go over here. Actually, no, we're here. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like we can go that far off. I don't know what I just saw. That might have been a Finneon. Really can't see what any of the Pokemon are above sea. Like, what am I looking at? Okay. What is on this rock? Maybe nothing? Maybe something? Is that a crowfish? That's a crowfish! <gasps> Hold on. Crowfish, hello, guy. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I caught a crowfish. They look a little different. I do think I'm pretty confident there is a Hisuian crowfish evolution line somewhere. Okay. I'm just gonna keep moving. I can't find out where this Pokemon is that I should be dealing with. But is there something potentially over here? Celio. Um Shaking tree. Cherum, Cherum, Cherum. Uh, oh, oh my Jesus. What is. Okay. Um. Let's see. What can we do here? Quick attack. It is an Alpha Burmy. I am catching it. Not very effective. I'm. Offensive stats lowered. Oh. That's fine, actually. That's perfect. Oh, no, actually, no. Um, great boss, sure. The reason why I want this is just because I am not gonna see Alpha Burmy very often, okay? It's very uncommon to find an Alpha Burmy because it's only in trees. So, perfect, I got an Alpha Burmy. That's awesome, okay. Man, that's cool. All right. Yeah, a Burmy by itself, nothing special, but an Alpha of it like this, nothing special. But an alpha of it, now that's that's something to talk about. Oh, I probably shouldn't be in the way of the flame core. Oh gosh. It happens more often than it should. Okay. Now Manaphy, where are you? 
Oh, that's right. The first time talking about which Pokemon this is that we're looking for. Manaphy. It's a Manaphy. Okay. Where is it, anyways? Huh. Is it foggy? Oh, we... Uh oh. Uh oh. Trouble. Uh, we're in trouble here. No, bad. Okay, get out of here. Oh. So, from the looks of it, I did not find the Pokemon that I was looking for. Hmm. We can do a quick search somewhere else, I think. We can head back to the village. Don't know. Uh, we can do a quick search also here as well, because it makes more sense. It's, it was found apparently over here. So if it were to move, it would make sense it's here, right? In the Obsidian Fieldlands. So I'm going to check there real quick. To see if it's there. It's not going to take long. And if it's not there, then... Oh well, we're just going to continue on to another quest for now. Yeah, 30 points, nothing crazy. And I misclicked. Okay. Well, we can just do this. Yes. Now, let's see, um, I don't know what other quests there are to do, but let's go here. Let's see, by the water. Let's mark it down where it could be. Actually, the other place over here is closer. Let's just go here. Yeah, you always have that sound, huh? Oh, we do have over here at Wominous Island. Okay, let's go over there. Um, I think it's at least worth it. It could potentially be there. Yeah, but, I mean, is, the, is it gonna be there? Probably not. But it's worth a try, at least. I spent so much time in this area, it was insane. It was fun, all, all together. I like the collecting aspect. It's just, this was all I was at. This is the only place I was at. I spent so much time. I haven't caught a lot of the um, water Pokemon, but... It's fine. In fact, I didn't even spend that much time on this island at all. Okay. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay, that's an Alpha Ambipom. I mean, that's cool. Alright, let's talk to you. Oh, you've got Pokemon with you. What are the odds? Fate must have back... Fate must have my back today bringing you here. Look, I know we just met, but will you do something for me? i love it if you could bring me that Pokemon. Ah, oh, what is its name again? Well, the one with the scythe on each arm. Excellent, I had a feeling you'd say that. Never mind my idea, just bring me that Pokemon with the scythe on each arm. Alright, I know what it is. You want something that's really good at cutting down roses, right? Okay, now let's see. Manaphy, are you on this beach somewhere? Manaphy. Ooh, a shaking tree. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I was so excited for a second. Dang it. That's not what I usually see. I'm like, well, that's that's true. I usually don't see combis in here. Still not the Pokemon I was looking for. Dang. Okay. Oh, an Infernit. Well, what am I talking about? Of course it's an Infernit. It's, it's not my first time seeing it here. But, okay. Let's look around the island and see if there's anything else we can see here. Uh, I don't think I see anything crazy. It is foggy, so it'll be perfect to like get a happiny, more happinies or chances or whatnot. But I am not gonna do that. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go back to the village because I can't find the Pokemon. It's not washed up anywhere that I see. Uh, yep. Yep, here's my findings. Yep, there we go. Th there's my ten points. Turn to the village. Okay, now time to see where I should go next. I'm gonna have to do some research on this one. And eventually, I'll finish this. But right now, I am not. Okay, let's start. Let's go up from here. Show Ward the complete Pokedex entry of Ghastly. I haven't done that. Uh, try to speed up Tahua with a gift. Country so I don't have that either. No mischievous. The taste of honey. Oh, bean cakes as well. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. So we do have some quests that's, uh, easier to do. That doesn't require actually catching Pokemon. Which is fine. 
Uh, let's talk to you real quick. Uh, looks like you're in a house. All right. Looks like they, oh, there is also more people just in the village. It's like, I don't remember this blonde chick. The majority of the time, uh, they have brown hair. Um, you. Hello. Listen, I've been gathering combi honey for work, and I'm starting to think that their honey's flavor varies between groups of combi. I'd like to look into the differences more, but that would mean, mean collecting honey from combi hives and all sorts of errors. And that's a bit too much for this lone fellow. That's where you come in. I'd love if you could bring me combi from three different errors. First, give me a combi from Grueling Grove, would you? Brought me a combi from Grueling Grove, have you? Um, I... maybe... I'll just have myself a little sample of its honey. Okay. That's exactly what honey should be. Tastes like a distilled drop of nu nutritious, foresty goodness. But I get the feeling it doesn't quite taste like honey from other areas. I'll make sure to memorize this flavor. Let's move on. Two more places to check. The next carrot combi I'm looking for lives on Apalm Hill. Could you bring me one from there? Uh, I don't think I have one, but I'll talk to you just in case. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was curious. I was like, I don't think I have one. Because I'm pretty sure all of it's from um, the first area. Obsidian, Fuel Lens. Okay. Well, we can ho put that request on hold. I already have this quest completed. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Taste the home. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, this is something I can do. Is there a button that lets me just see the quests more easily? It didn't mean to throw you out. Sorry about that. Typhlosion. Okay, let's see. I can go in here. I'll check my box, see if I can do some moving around. Uh, here. What's the items? Hardy Grains 3, Hopeberry 2, Raspberry 1. Okay. Yeah, I think I have... I mean, I'm pretty sure I have all of that. Hardy Grains. Hopeberry. And Raspberry. Okay. That's the stuff. After that, we have the Pipple Up for the Cakes. And then we can go on to the next area because um, there really isn't any qu other quests I have. Is this the same quest? It is. I mean, this is the quest. Alright. It's just another ha Oh, it's his neighbor. Oh, alright. I was about to say, like, that sound- that looks like really close to where I just left. Okay, let's go over here. Hello. I see you found all the ingredients I asked for. Three stalks of hardy grains, two hopeful berries, and one raspberry. Yes, they're all here. Are you- Happy to give these to me? Wonderful, these ingredients look nice and fresh. I'll get cooking, so wait here a while, would you? Okay, they're all done. Let's have a taste before giving one to Evie, shall we? Hometown Muffin. Okay. A baked treat made from berries and other ingredients, which is often eaten in regions such as Galar. It is beloved by a surprising number of Pokemon. Mm, that's interesting. I guess the taste is fine, but it's just not the same as the muffins from my hometown. I remember them being more moist and having this nice, delicate flavor to them. Sorry to waste your time after all the trouble you went through to gather the ingredients for us. But I'm afraid these mediocre muffins won't be enough to get me in Eevee's good books. Oh, what's the matter, Evie? Do you want one? Well, I won't stop you. Here you go. You like it that much? That's great. I'm so glad. Hmm? You want another? I don't think that's wise. Too many snacks would give you a bellyache. Oh, now you could. Now, who could resist that cute little face? I'll spoil your water if I'm not careful. Yes, I will. Thanks to you, it seems even and I will get on just fine. More than fine, even. I'm in your debt. As for my new muffin creations, they're not quite the same as the ones from my hometown, so... 
How about we call them Jubilife Muffins instead? I think I know just what to do it do to make them even tastier than for my darling Evie too. I've jotted down my ideas, so here, you should try making some for yourself. So I get a variety? Uh that's Jubilife Muffins, okay. Ah, uh, great. Now let's see, I have one more quest that I can complete, and then we're off to the next area, which is exciting. Uh, let's see, requests. Um, let's see, it is this one, okay. I don't think there's anything else. They have like mini games like this, which is cool. But um, I'll do them some other time. The rest, it seems like I'm gonna need to catch some Pokemon or do some research on where to get something. So this will be the last one I do. Okay. Oh, there's a Chansey, huh? Interesting. Alright. Oh, I'm not gonna worry about that. I already have a shiny Chansey, I think, from Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. So, unnecessary for me, but it's cool still, regardless. I mean, I would still catch one. Because that would be fun. Let's grab this. And we are back. Oh wait, is it... It's right there. What the? Really? It's right there? Uh, could you give me a bean cake? Sure, here you go. Great, actually, why don't you give it to Peplop? Let it eat out of your hands. Wonderful, it really seems to like that bean cake. Oh wow, you ate the whole thing already. It's got quite the appetite, that's for sure. I've taken I've quite taken a liking to little Piplup, and I don't think it's safe to let it wander around. I'll bring it back to the village and take care of it. Alright, good for you. Alright, since I'm here, right, like I might as well do wait, what's looking at me right now? I'm already here. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, I'm not trying to get Chinese, I'm just trying to catch some Pokemon. Get over here, Chanties. I mean, they sure give me a lot of experience, that's for sure. Uh oh. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have. Yeah, you guess get you. Is you. Hello. There's an alpha right there. Don't look this way. Yeah, there's something horrible happening. Uh, missed. There we go. Okay. Um, I said the catch rate's not the greatest. That's okay. Um, there we go, that's a great capture. Well, no shinies, that's okay. If I wanted to get a shiny, I would have done more, uh, out of them the spawn farming, I would have farmed it. Uh, I just wanted to catch some chances. Um, also, it gave me a lot of levels, right? Uh, yeah, look at that. Like, my pedal is level 40. I don't know when they evolve. I have no clue whatsoever. And, you know, that's okay. Yeah, they're still babies. Um, what's following me? I kind of want to get out of here. Oh, that's fine if it's still aggro. Oh, I still have aggro on some random book. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is it that has aggro on me anyways? What is it? Wait a minute, I don't have ag it doesn't have aggro on me anymore. I was thinking like maybe that's what I need to find. That's a chancy, yep. I mean, it's not gonna do anything, it's fine. It just wants to hang out. It might have been the chancy. Potentially. It's possible. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna do a quick look at the fingers. And like this part right here. 
Oh, didn't mean to. Okay, there we go. I mean, hang out over here as well. What is that? No. It's a uh, memory. It's okay. That's not exactly what we're looking for. Anything over here? Because, I mean, this is cool, right? But nothing? Huh. Uh, anything over here? No, it doesn't seem to be the case. Huh. Uh, I do want to see if I can find this Pokemon. Uh, Manaphy. I mean, if they really wanted to base it off of like some previous games, it would be on the shoreline. And I do plan to go over there to check, just to make sure. Is that a... yeah, Star Raptor. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go on the shoreline. And then, if it's not there... Uh, we are gonna go to the next area, I guess. I ran into something. Okay. Let's go over here, go to the shoreline, and just do a... Well, actually, no, let's go a little over this way. It's an artillery, right? Alpha artillery. No, not alpha artillery. Huh, thought there was one. Okay. Let us go walking on the shoreline. See if we see any uh, mythic Pokemon. What is that? That's a Machamp. I mean, um, Machoke. Okay. That's some feels. It's really hard to see at this time of the day. Let's see if we have any other. Uh... Nope, that's just an alpha. Shaking trees. That's a Breezel. It's hanging out. Um, no. Okay. Um. We still have this part of sh yeah, this part of the shore left. Let's see. Any any manaphies over here? Want to hang out? No, that's a go duck. Not exactly what I'm looking for. No, it's okay. The answer is gonna be no. Even Beautifly gets, get, huh? Didn't expect that one would be a hostile Pokemon. Well, nothing, nothing else over here. Let me just wait to get this aggro off and head on to the next place. Uh, all right, cool. All right, let's get out of here. That's not what I meant to do. Well, we're here anyways. Like, what am I doing? Let's go talk to you, Lavington. Oh, that's why I call a lot of chances. That's why that's a thing. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let me leave, please. Thank you. Yep, return to village. Okay, I can't wait to see... <laughs> The next place is snowy, I believe. So let us see what outfits we can get. Oh wait, there's someone else. Oh wait, it's you! My hello again, wonderful timing as always, I see. You really came to rescue me with that pickling stone, you know. You're quite the little helper. So I wonder if I can impose on you again for help with a new pickle proposal of mine. I was down by the sea gathering fresh ingredients recently when, wouldn't you know, an artillery popped up and sprayed me with ink. But here's the thing, the ink, well, it actually tasted rather good. Insp inspiration quite literally struck me at that moment. I knew I could use this ink to create pickles the lines of, likes of which the world has never seen. But making food out of something a Pokemon has spat up seems risky to say the least, no. So a little re research on artillery is in order, I think. That's when you come in, dear. If you learn more about artillery, please let me know. Oh yeah, sure. And also, I'm really happy to see your Geodude hanging around. That's exciting. It would have been boring seeing him... Yeah, in the house the whole time. Okay, let's go to the shop. Or over here. Actually, there's another quest I want to do. Let's see, new items to the Clothier's lineup. A male and female Hippopotas. I'm going to actually say no to that. Uh, buy clothing. Uh, let's see, do I have anything cool? Boiler hat. Yes! Okay, yes, this is what I wanted to see. Okay, we're wearing we're going blue still. That's our uh Yes. We have this. Yeah, festive of course. 
Snow, yes. Perfect. Um, uh, fre yeah, it's festive snow. Amethyst, indigo, indigo. There we go. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Crop. That's not what you're going to the snow with. Snow trousers. Blue is kind of a bit. There we go. Uh, this is just full costumes, all right? Uh, yes, it is. Let's see, split toes, no, is there any, well, that says specifically, snow stuff? Let's see, ankle boots. Oh, there it is, yeah, snow boots, here it is. Okay. Yeah, indigo. Alright. I think we're all set. Snow goggles? Oh, now that's cool. Actually, this one I do want blue. Uh, yep. Actually, those goggles look kind of horrendous. Yeah, <laughs> those yeah, those goggles. Let's uh, let's get rid of them. Um, there we go. Okay. Well, let's do a quick rest here, and then we're gonna head on out to. Well, this, what is it called actually? Let's go here. Missions here, Coronet Highlands. There we go. Oh, uh, yes, I'm gonna stay in my current attire. Yes, thank you. Here, rest. Until morning. I gotta make sure you st uh, start early in the morning. We're not leaving at night, that'll be weird. All right. Coronet Highlands, here we come. Uh, I don't know what it looks like exactly. All I know is it's a snowy region. So let's change up our inventory. So, um, yep, yeah, just move all this stuff. I don't need the bombs, I feel. At least I hope not. I do have the spray just in case. Okay. Yep, yeah, we're heading out. Coronet Highlands, let's see what it's like. Actually, no, this might not be a snowy area. Coronet Highlands, because it looks like the place after this is snowy. So, maybe. Okay. I mean, it looks a little chilly. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock type and ground type Pokemon. I want to know about these craggy, boulder strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in space-time is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Okay, now let's do some- oh, oh, okay. Not exactly what I was expecting to see here. Stone portal. And stone portal. Okay. Well, we know exactly where we have to go. That's not a big deal. Um, let's just start off by... That's a Luxray. Hello. Okay, uh, looks like we've, we've seen fully evolved Pokemon from this point on. That's a Yen Mega. Looks like they're uh, not hostile. Perfect. Um, some wood, that's fine. What is this? Oh, I, oh, I just found a satchel. Oh, okay. Um, let's look around a little bit. Um, let's... Do I want to go in the water? Not really. Not right now. Luxio is kind of a... More on the dangerous side. That's where I have to go for the quest. I'll be there shortly. Don't worry. Okay, let's just go here. Um, let's see what's on this side. Um, nothing too crazy, I'd say. Alright, let's just go... Let's go over here. So far, nothing crazy. Which is fine. It's just wheats. Yeah, it's hardy grains. Okay. Let's go into the water over here. Let's see if we can find something interesting. 
I mean, I hope so, but you never know. It might just block us off right here. Is it going to block us off? No. It, no. it doesn't? Huh, interesting. Is it just letting me get here? Seems to be the case. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. It looks like majority of this place is spent in a cave. Just fine. Uh, my team isn't really built for that, but that's okay. We'll we'll make do with what we got. There's a person here. Hello. Most admirable of you to find such a remote corner of the highlands. Your choice of path shows a certain kind of single-minded dedication. I have a recipe perfectly suited for someone like yourself. Here, I hope you'll give it a try. Oh, choice dumplings. Oh. I trust someone like you will be able to make a truly choice dish. Farewell, my earnest friend. Hey, thank you. Alright, oh, that's completely worth coming here. Alright. Can I just, you know, climb up this mountain? The game says no. Okay. Um, that's just... What is this? Just regular apricots? Oh, apricorns? Yep. Alright. If I wanted to get more apricorns, I can farm them at any point in time. So, we are just gonna pass on that. Well, since we already have the person's stuff, we should probably turn this in. Alright. Let us go and uh, continue the main story, I guess. We're going inside the cave. Thankfully, I'm not just the pure fire type, because just being pure fire is gonna be kind of awkward in the cave right with all the rock and ground type but I do have ghost moves one ghost move so we should be fine um let's see Keep moving the automatic camera is making this a little difficult yeah it is okay it is foggy so maybe we can see some fairy types in here I don't know The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges at least are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. Then becoming frenzied to boot. So true, it's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan, and oh my, the Galaxy Team Quant from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the Great Electro Lord of the Hollow. But by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. <laughs> well then, let me tell you the Great Melee's take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell that out? That that's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as its right and as is right and good. This may be, may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. What business is it of the galaxy teams, anyway, if Electro lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours, rather than persist in this folly, and with that, bon, bon voyage. What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, Tails? Very well. The, the tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler tells, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here, you will find Pokemon like Goban and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you need to watch your step. Okay. Let's do this. I'm kind of nervous because uh, I don't have a great team set up for this. I really don't. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness, no foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. 
Take care not to come uncoupled for me. Alright, so if I move too far, I guess... Yeah. I recall faintly that I had a partner once, a precious one. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. If only we were here, I'm sure it will light the way, luring us onward. Flames, huh? Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha crab crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone as competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest for safety. Please follow me. Take care not to come uncoupled for me. Yeah, will do. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We battle and discuss Pokemon, I think. The words I like winning more than anything else flashed through my mind just now. We'll soon be arriving at Rayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be... Let me put those torches back where they belong. This Noctis could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. Okay. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have let him return the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. If you follow a track marked by torches, you will reach the terminus of this cave. Okay. Um, it looks like Golbat's a very common Pokemon to see. Oh, I could just... Okay, I can mount up. I expected that I wouldn't be allowed to do that. That's cool that I can. Oh, let's leave. This is the first actual cave, right? Yeah, it is. Huh. Professor Lamberton told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my, for my part, I simply found myself one day here in history, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But still, I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Okay. Um, where are... That's a Heracross. Oh, we actually didn't make much progress, did we? Okay. Um, let's keep going. Get to see more Psyducks, cool. Uh, what other Pokemon is out here? Parises, all right. Uh, Stanlers, of course. Let's see, anything else? Anything crazy? Let's see, anything different? Wait, what is this? Oh, a Heracross, okay. That's not exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, thank you. No, 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 stop it. Stop it, get out of the way, please, thank you. Is that that girl again? Oh, gosh. Not a fan of her. Uh, let me just do this. Oh, looks like they want to deal with me too, huh? Uh, okay. I guess since you, if you want to fight that badly. All right, Paris. Uh, just uh, how how uh, eat some of this. I do like uh, Typhlosion in battle. It's really cool. Get the flames and all that. What's the big idea of putting back all the torches that spent ages tidying away? Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? No, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm. Well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner, Pokemon. How you see tells. Go, Skunk Tank, show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. See, only Pokemon? 
All right, Typhlosion, let's uh, let's beat this thing up real quick. That's not gonna cause. It's not gonna do anything really. Um, yeah, just use Flamethrower, I guess. It's the only move we really should be using. Agile style. I don't think it's gonna cause. Well, that's gonna cause problems, but. Oh wait, isn't it twice? Really? Is Skunk Tank that much faster than Typhlosion? Come on. Can I see your stats? Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Check summary. How fast are you? 151? Is it. Because Quick Attack on Skunk Tank didn't make me two times faster than it, so. I guess Skunk Tank's just a very fast Pokemon, huh? Uh. Wow, Thunderfang, huh? Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. Okay, goodbye, Skunk Tank. Get out of here. Listen here, neither I nor Skunk Tank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skunk Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up, we'll be back. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now, let us press on. Now, I don't think anyone can fathom anything about her. Jeez. I'm uh, just gonna keep up with Luxray. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Uh, we're gonna have to do some quick changing over here. I'm sorry. Uh, as soon as I saw that there's steel Pokemon about, uh, I'm just gonna rest until morning. Uh, we aren't gonna deal with any alpha Pokemon or whatever in this video. Uh, well, noble. We're not gonna deal with any noble Pokemon like Electrode and all that. Um, because it's kind, of, it, we're we're quite a we're quite a while into this video already, and I feel like by the time we get there, it's gonna be quite a ways from now. So I'm gonna head back there. Enter. I can't wait till I can fly or well glide actually. More accurate. Can't wait till we can do that. That would be exciting. Is that Crobat still here? I have no idea. Okay, and here we are. The exit. That's a Crobat. That is whatever. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so I just really want to, yeah, because of the Bronzong, I really didn't want to have Luxor up front. Much prefer to have Tech Lotions. So, let's keep on going now. I didn't realize Paris is such a hostile Pokemon. It is surprising. Since they just look like they want to hang out. Aerocross, on the other hand, makes sense. Okay. Let's go back in here. Let's talk to you. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of a Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you go, Ingo. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember the things. So it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Tails, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed, well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. What about you then, Tails? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this space-time rift also appeared in history in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose sketches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it's Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then, that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? 
And why would tales have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I will continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I'm a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Tails. Until next time, then. Yep, see you later, Volo. Once we're through here, it will be just a little further. Let's move at speed, but not haste. Alright. Uh, make your way up the mountain with Ingo. Will do. Bronzongs and Bronzors. I do like that Pokemon. That's a shaking tree. No, no, wait, no. Is it just very windy? It's just very windy. Okay. An Arsoring. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Let us keep moving on out. Oh, there's a person here. Another side... Oh, no, not another. Just the same side quest. Oh, this is for camping? Is this a person? Esham. Ah, uh, you're part of the galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you all were planning to set up a camp. But it seems not much progress has been made since that Bronzor is getting in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so you can't just ignore it either. Please, do you think you could find out what it, what it is Bronzor wants? Yeah, sure, I can deal with that next time. That's fine by me. I will do that after. Okay. You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret, some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such things in history, surely. Yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Just who was I before I came to Sinnoh? I mean, history. If you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you to jog this memory loss. Me memory loose. Would you honor me with the battle tales? Alright. All aboard then. Machoke prepared for departure. Ooh, a Machoke. Okay, now this is an interesting one. Alright, let's go Warden Ingo. Typhlosion, I'm actually really happy this is my first my yeah, okay. Alright, Machoke. Uh oh, that's not really doing me any favors, huh? Um uh, now we're just gonna do a flamethrower. Come on, get a burn. Burn off. Come on. No. Ooh, agile style. Bullet punch. Wait, bullet punch. Oh wait, Bullet Punch is Steel, isn't it? Okay, okay. Another Flamethrower, and goodbye Machoke. Alright. Gliscor. Oh. Strong style. Mud Bomb. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that's problematic. Alright, Luxray. Oh, it's a crown type. Ooh, I just noticed that. Alright, quick attack. Use this. Use a crunch. Okay, I think we're doing good work here. Oh, it moves fast. It moves super fast. It's, it's like the wind. Jesus. Okay. Gumi, let's do this. I believe in you, Gumi. The babies have to fight. now. that's not what I wanted to have happen. Water pulse. Come on. Gliscor. Okay, good. Whew. Now, what's your last Pokemon? Tangela. Tangela. Ancient power. Alright. 
Uh, not the worst. Acid spray. It's a grass type. Makes sense. Ancient power. Uh, am I fine? Yeah, we are. Okay. Bravo. Excellent. Alright, the babies did it. Well, one of them did. Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory. Now allow me to call Sneasler. Oh, Sneasler. Oh, we're, we're encountering Sneasler right now. Okay. Um, If it's frenzied, we are going to have to yeah, hold off on it. Oh. Looks pretty cool. Allow me to introduce you, Tails. This keen clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Oh, it's kind of like Basculegion, huh? Okay. Sneezer opened their heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Okay. A toxic plate as well. Cool. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs of Sneezler's, Sneezler's aid and crowd the lord up in the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard. You can now cause Sneezer to scale and descend sheer cliffs and walk faces. Uh, you can climb up and down cliffs, ledges, and other sheer surfaces with Sneezler's aid. To summon Sneezer, press the A button when you're near a climbable surface, or use the plus button in any lo other location. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna deal with this right now, though. We're gonna set up camp, and then we're gonna call it after that. It's raining. Uh, you know. I'll get back to the village. Let's talk to you. Uh, what does it want? Berries? Um, this? Um... What's over here? A cherum? Oh my gosh! A cherum! Uh oh. Okay, um... Well, since I have to do this, I'm gonna use an Ultra Ball on a Cherum. Come on, Cherum, get in there. You're high level, super high level, at matter of fact. But there we go. Woohoo! Got it. I don't know if that's exactly the Pokemon that. Uh... Oh no, there's a Bronze on over here. No bronzor. I saw bronzor go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. What in the that bronzor? It's wounded. This is no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. There, that should do it. Bronzor should be fit as a fiddle now. Seems the bronzor at the new campsite was looking for its friend this whole time. I'm glad you looked into it, otherwise we may have been too late to treat this bronzor. This land is dangerous even for the Pokemon that call it their home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fine lineup of rares stocked for you, so please buy anything that you need. Ah, uh, and it seems the base camp has been all set up while we were talking, in which case I should get settled in as well. So long. Okay, new base camp. Nice. Alright. Get this. Uh, get some of this. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, look, the bronzers are hanging out. Hey, guys. Okay. Talk to Lavington? Well, actually, no. Actually, that's going to end it for this video. Um, It was fun. Uh, I'm in the wrong clothing, kind of, sort of, but that's okay. 
Um, we saw a Sneasler. We got to the new area, which is cool. Uh, it's a very mountainous area. Uh, I haven't, yeah, we haven't seen that much, but hopefully next time we can. Right, you'll be, I'll see it and I'll record my first time seeing all the stuff. Because look at all this empty area we haven't visited yet. So I'll do that because I'm not going to explore this without recording my first time seeing it. So I still don't know what the rest of this place looks like. I'm really excited for it. But uh, that's going to be next time. And also along with Electrode. Yeah, we're going to deal with that as well. We can continue the main storyline. So that's going to be fun. So we'll do all that next time. And so until then, I'll see you all later. Bye.